things will change and because in other there's quite vigorous discourse about a lot of things on the web but for some reason not about our criticism at this point I'm, I'm not sure why that is but I think that's going to inevitably happen and um, so I'm not sure we're going to go back to this thing with this one person who has the authority uh, I think it's going to shift into something else and just to give you an example I think because I just did a copywriting job on a climate change project and there I probably got $75 an hour exactly yeah, I was, I'm rich now because of it but, <laughs> <laughs> but um there, I, I thought about the fact that there's debate over climate change, and, and it, can, it kind of can be resolved because people are used to participating in debate at this point, so it's harder for the a point of view to be uh, put forward, so that's what I want to say. I also just want to say uh, something I think relates to this is I increasingly envy the critical situation of the film community, where um, it, it, the economics of it are so different, like... Uh, there's so few, many fewer films released each year to so many more public who see them, um, allowing like that there to be a large amount of public advertising that then supports lots of column inches for film writing in uh, newspapers as well as in academic journals. And at all those levels, um, there's a, because there can be so much space for the writing, um, there's so much diversity of opinion and a really lively critical culture. I think that uh, it doesn't exist in part because of economics, in part because of the Canadian culture of like, let's just be nice to each other, because the British culture of things is a lot more like, I hate you, <laughs> you know, I hate this art, it's horrible, like that's a much more common kind of um, okay thing to do. So I think there's lots of factors, and one of them really is like the economics of advertising and the economics of like public consumerism of a certain cultural product. That just, but anyway, go film criticism. <laughs> Yay, one tomatoes. Fair <laughs> <Your> question. <laughs> I gotta be bitchy. I actually wanted to contact that. Uh, <laughs> Give him the mic. Yeah. Okay, Who are you? I'm Chris. Chris from where? Uh, around. <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey. New Jersey rules. Um, I kind of want to contradict that because actually one of the most interesting things about film criticism. Are you a film critic? Uh, yeah, no, you are. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm a filmmaker, but I. I um, is uh, the best writing that right now is on blogs. Um, and that's because for the, for the exact reason you're saying, there is no critical dialogue about the film in papers because the money's there, everyone wants to find out whether up is any good, which is good, it's good. Um, it's great, actually. You know, uh, and there's, there's, no there's no real criticism. I mean, I Weekly's and Glorious Bastards wasn't criticism. You know, advertising <laughs> actually, but, but that was, I mean, that was advertising behind, behind, uh, it was. Be, behind, uh, uh, advertorial. Be, behind, behind paper, 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 uh, but on blogs, it's the people who are writing are such fans. They want you to see the new Pedro Costa that they've dubbed from someone else's DVD, right? You know, it, it's, and you've got CinemaScope where people are writing because they're fans, you know, and, and so, uh, they're doing it exactly for the reason David Balzer is saying. It's because they want it to be better and they want more people to see this stuff. So um, it's 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 really actually quite fascinating. That's exactly what happens almost too much in, in art criticism these days because it's not people can't get paid to do it very much. Um, it's a lot of that kind of criticism of like, uh, well, here's something I really like that I want people to know about, and yeah, that's but, not a bad but, thing. But it's, it's just that there's just that's where it, that's where it uh, shifts. That's where the weight is in the Canadian. And yeah, yeah. yeah. And to, to add to this like really fascinating discussion, like the reason why um, there seem to whatever to, to whatever degree there seems to be a healthiness within the film critical community that's not within the art critical community is just because there are more consumers of film than there are art. I mean, how many people here are artists, curators, and gallerists? Well, most people, I would assume. Now, the reason why criticism is, is, is not, people don't care about criticism is, isn't because um, people, like, you know, there's a general apathy towards it, but because it doesn't do service to the community 
uh, the, to the art scene for critics to have a voice, whereas yeah, because within, don't think art critics have power. well, because there are more artists, there are there that those are, that's the audience for us, right? And that needs to change, right? What we need, yeah. what what I'm interested in as a critic is actually not the artists reading me, but rather the people who aren't artists. And I don't think that Do there are very artists? many. Yes, I don't think that there are very many people who are who are reading. But film is different. Film is an industry, and it's a it's it's something. It's part of the culture. It's part of the zeitgeist, and people put money into it and want to know if something's good or bad. But, um, and, you know, that's, you know, I, I think that one of the problems with the film critical community is that there's too much of a consensus going on in terms of what's good, what's bad, end of story. Maybe and that's just stifling, it's awful, because um, it's sort of this boys club that's formed.